wants. Goes for Herman Moore. Up for Got it. throw. Fires to the corner. Herman Moore. Mitchell the throw. Mitchell caught. Touchdown, Lions. Herman Moore. Got a block from Barry. Goes long. Right. Herman Moore just catches at the 30. 25. 20. Herman down the sideline. 50. 10. Still going. To the four. My, my breakout opportunity against the Dallas Cowboys and our, our playoff victory against them. I caught my first touchdown in the NFL in the corner, the right corner of the end zone. Kind of became my signature mark in terms of going up and getting high fade. And I, I felt at that moment uh, I had arrived and it was now time to start just ascending and going to a different level. With each catch, Herman Moore redefines the term go-to receiver. We threw the ball. We already knew what pass it was going to be. It was going to be a high fade to the corner of the end zone to Herman. The high fade is something that became a real good signature of mine because of a former high jumper over 7-2. It was one I felt that if I could get a high pass or get a ball thrown to me, it wasn't a player in the league uh, that would be able to contest that or be able to contend with me going for the high pass. The Minnesota game that elevated us into the playoffs, that was tremendous because I was injured. I wasn't even really scheduled to play that game and didn't practice that week. And to go out and be able to contribute and ultimately propel my team into uh, an opportunity for the playoffs meant the world to me. First and goal at the one yard line. Mitchell, the more the big. me, I, I wanted nothing but the best, not only for myself, but for my teammates and for this organization. And if you play with that confidence and that attitude, then that's when you achieve and you accomplish. Nobody has seen a receiver go over 100 catches, and Herman went over that 100 catch mark, and I mean really went over that 100 catch mark. So it was, it was really astounding to see that unfold in front of us. I do think we had the greatest show on turf. Somebody else got that credit, but we had the greatest show. I would say my greatest asset was uh, I'm a competitor. A lot of people talk about receivers won in the football. Uh, I wanted it because I felt that if it was in my hands, I was going to do something special with it. And you have to have that type of unwavering confidence to be successful in the NFL. Oh, man! He breaks another tackle on the 10. Pulled down from behind at the four-yard line. What an effort. The day that I was uh, sitting on the set with Dan and I didn't envision or think that Rob was there to also mention me. So to my surprise, uh, when he mentioned that, uh, it was it was an honor. Yeah, we're in one more person. He's on the set. And it's not you, Dan. I'm sorry. I didn't make Herman? it. What? Congratulations, man. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Wow, now that's a surprise. <laughs> it means a lot to me, but I know it means a lot to our fans. It means a lot to this organization. It means a lot to those who, who follow this franchise to know that uh, Another player is going up there that really love this organization, love this team, and love the city. From 1988 to 1990, quarterback Sean Moore and wide receiver Herman Moore formed one of the most lethal passing combinations in college football history. The pair of first-team All-Americans connected for 27 passing touchdowns over a period of three years and set over 30 combined NCAA conference and school records during their careers. We had this chemistry where, you know, if if he if I saw him in man coverage, it was I mean it was just sort of a, it was it was known I'm going to him. If he's in single coverage, I'm throwing to him. I don't care what we had called. <laughs> it didn't matter. On offense, Virginia struck quickly as Sean Moore connected with Herman Moore for two scores before halftime building what proved to be an insurmountable lead. I don't think there's been a better receiver.